More key video evidence released in the case against CPD officer Jason Van Dyke, who shot Laquan McDonald 16 times, killing him. Yet another release raises some questions. CBS 2's Brad Edwards has the story now live from the newsroom. Brad. Good evening, Erica. It's part of an ongoing investigation, or it could hinder the investigation. The answer is often given as to why the public isn't allowed to see evidence. Tonight, we delve into that as yet more evidence is out. Tonight, a new 911 call. Callers actually restraining Laquan McDonald, who's trying to steal radios, he says. Chicago, Mr. Lekowski. Oh, yeah. I'm here at Capitol Hill on 41 and uh, Gilder. I have, you know, I, 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 I have a parking lot for the trucks. And I have a guy right here uh, installing the radios. Okay, are you holding this person? Yeah. I Yet more evidence. Could it, as we hear over and over, jeopardize the case. There is some truth to it, but it should not be a hard and fast rule. Why do we hear that statement so much if, it, if it's not always hard and true? Because it's the easy out. That, according to our expert Irv Miller. This, too, newly released video from outside a Dunkin' Donuts. We see officers get out of a CPD SUV. One is Officer Jason Van Dyke as he shoots and kills a 17-year-old. It's a new angle from the video first released a week ago, which shows McDonald walking down Pulaski when he's shot and killed. This is so unusual, you have no idea. All the evidence out there. Is there any reason to believe that this case may be in jeopardy because how much evidence is out there? Absolutely not. Other end of the spectrum, could this help Van Dyke's defense because everyone's already seen it? There's no shock factor. Yes, because of what the media has done and put it out there, yes, I think that could help in front of the jury. And there was more video released today from inside a Burger King, as you can see right here. Workers there believed someone, potentially an officer or someone with knowledge of the system, may have erased about 80 minutes from around the time of the killing. State's attorney Anita Alvarez in a statement said, quote, the best evidence we have right now is that the video was not tampered with. In the newsroom tonight, Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Brad, thank you.